We begin with the perfect blend for strong bricks. One bag of cement, three wheelbarrows of river sand, and three wheelbarrows of plaster sand. Notice how a hole has been made in the center of the mix, resembling a small volcano. This technique isn't just for show. It's an essential step that allows water to be evenly distributed. By pouring water into this central crater, the mix becomes more manageable and ensures consistency throughout. Consistency is key to making bricks that are durable and weather resistant. Now, let's take a look at the freshly made bricks. These bricks are carefully laid out to cure, an important step in the brick making process. Curing allows the bricks to harden and reach their full strength potential. Here's another row of bricks that has been covered for curing. These bricks have been under plastic for two days. It's vital that they remain covered for a full seven days to achieve the best strength and durability. Let's return to the mixing process, where the preparation for the next batch of bricks is in full swing. Here, you see our worker meticulously mixing the blend. He's using a time-tested technique of working around the mix, gradually pushing the dry material from the outside into the water-filled center using a shovel. This method isn't just about efficiency. It ensures that every part of the mix is equally hydrated. This even distribution is crucial because an improperly mixed batch could lead to bricks that are weak or brittle. As he continues, you'll notice how the water in the center is gradually covered and absorbed by the surrounding mix. This stage is where the consistency of the mix begins to change, signaling that the water has penetrated all areas. It's an important indicator that the mix is progressing well, but there's still more work to be done to ensure uniformity. At this point, it's clear that the mix is still a bit dry, so the worker adds more water using a bucket. Achieving the right moisture level is crucial. Too little water will make the mix difficult to mold, while too much will make it too loose and compromise the brick's integrity. This additional water helps to bring the mix to its ideal consistency.
The worker carefully monitors the mix, adding just the right amount of water to avoid oversaturation. With the moisture level just right, it's time for another round of thorough mixing. This step ensures that all components are fully integrated, leading to a homogeneous mix that will result in uniform bricks. It's beginning to look like the perfect mix, ready for molding into bricks that will be both strong and long-lasting.
The mix is complete, perfectly prepared for the next phase. Here's a look at a batch that's been fully mixed and is ready for use. Notice how it holds together when I compress it in my hand. It's firm, but still moldable. This is exactly the consistency we strive for. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please subscribe and like it. And don't forget to visit our website at tlstore.co.za to explore our range of brickmaking machines. We have everything you need to create top quality bricks and build with confidence.